Hello everyone, welcome to another vlog. As you can see behind me, I am at the Google headquarters in Mountain View, California, and I thought I'd take you on a little tour of the main campus itself, the headquarters, show you some of the kind of unique things here, see if I remember the fun facts from the tours I used to give here when I worked here. Uh, I'm pretty rusty, so I think I forgot most of them, but nonetheless, Let's go on a little adventure through the Google campus. And first things first, you have the Android statues from releases of yore, including uh, Honeycomb over here. This Android is stuck inside the Honeycomb. Hopefully he'll be okay. And then uh, KitKat release. Break me off a piece of this Android bar. And uh, Lollipop and Jelly Bean over here in this corner. And then over here, as noted, are the famous G-bikes to bike around campus. Dedicated G-bike parking spot for them. Here's what they look like from the front. Well, spring has sprung and these poppies are blooming like crazy i poppies and uh, yeah we'll go ahead and enter the googleplex there's some construction but they have this artistic wall pointing the direction towards the main googleplex the google main campus and once we're here here's a classic google logo on a sky bridge in the main campus area this area has a lot of nice plants and flowers and like I said, spring has sprung, so it's all blooming right now, too. They actually featured this area behind me in the well-received, amazing movie, The Internship. That was with uh, Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson. Wow. Anyway, this uh, kind of eating area, common area, there's a few establishing shots of this. So you might have seen it, either in that or in the media. And over here is the famous Stan the Dinosaur, who's been on the campus since even before Google moved here. There's, there's kind of two stories around this. One is that the imaging company that did uh, the effects for Jurassic Park was in this complex before Google, and so the statue was put in. Another thing is the statue is supposed to represent you have to always be evolving uh, with your technology, or you'll just end up dead. <laughs> so... Either way, that's a pretty good story. Either one. Those are the two things. But nonetheless, this is a famous kind of Google feature, and a lot of people will take pictures next to good old Stan over here. And it's even included times where he's been covered with flamingos, as you've seen here. So it's kind of funny. Like, he doesn't have them now, but occasionally he does. But there is always a nice little flamingo poop uh, down here below, so it's a nice little homage to that little detail coming out of Stan. And an interesting thing too is there are specific walking and bike lanes, which nobody really obeys, but... Alright, now we're going to walk away from the original main campus. Sorry, it's super windy today, so I'm sure the audio is just fantastic. Uh, walking away from the main campus area to the new building that they just designed recently and some of those new features including the Google Store. So let's go check that out. So they were building this new building for quite a few years when I was here. It took a long time to complete but it is now complete and it is where the newly launched Google Store is located. Go take a closer look. All right some more Poppy's blooming and making our way to the recently launched Google Store. And here we are, open to the public. So we'll go inside and check it out. Apparently, big thing right now is the minty fresh pixel. And once inside, unsurprisingly, there's a lot of Google products you could peruse or purchase if you so choose, that rhymes. 
And they have some of these quotes on the wall. Since day one, Google's mission has been to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Put your mind to something and don't let anything stop you. It's impossible to not make progress. It almost sounded like Doc Brown's quote. And then uh, within the store, too, they also have this section that includes Google merchandise, uh, things like tumblers, mugs with the good old Google logo, socks, totes. The, you can actually get a Google campus bike, a miniature version. Here it is here. No assembly required, but uh, pretty unique. Google basketball, Google shirts, different colors. All the Google things, YouTube, uh, tumblers and beanies, this, uh, the internet is not working, dinosaur merchandise, like a display, mugs, shirts, kind of a funny little thing. So if you're into that, they've got it here, socks, you know, and some Google stickers, including the internet is not working dinosaur, G-Bike, the Google logo. Some dinosaur caps and more mugs and tumblers and this area over here is a place to just kind of hang out drink coffee etc and then here's the outdoor seating area near the cafe where we will head next all right let's go ahead and head inside and then they have quite a few options for sandwiches and desserts and they all look pretty good. I didn't sample anything but it looks good. And of course a barista on hand. Some local items you can get, craft items. And then uh, here's a nice seating area. They have some additional sculptures and features near the visitor center area. Kind of unique one so we'll go check that out now. And just like I was saying, here's a giant bear sculpture. So there you go. And this is an interesting thing. It has uh, just various queries you can look at. They're actually upside down this way. So let's let's go to the other side and take a look. All right, let's see here. Do our ears never stop growing? Good question. How does smell work? Mm -hmm. Good query. Do Twinkies ever expire? If anyone knows the answers, just reply in the comments. What do dogs dream about? I'm going to guess bones. Oh, well, I looked at that one too quickly. Do animals look like their owners, I think, is what that said. Let's go to the next one. Where? I can't read these because of the reflection. How many clowns fit in a car? Important question. Uh, how many emails were sent today? Mm -hmm. Where is the nearest coffee shop? Important. When is a door not a door? Mm, philosophical question. Let's see what else they have here again. It's pretty bright. It's hard to see some of these. Where do you want to go next? When were soup dumplings invented? I guess a while ago. That's my answer. And then here's another sculpture you could see over here. So, and it's giant. What was the for the first board game? Hmm. A good trivia question don't know is a tomato a fruit isn't it because it has seeds what are hot dogs made of i don't think people want the answer to this one we could just leave that as a question how many sneakers are too many yeah okay and uh, yeah interesting questions and over here another android you can see them just all throughout campus another android figure put your hands up and even the sewers are labeled with Google. All right, it's very windy, but we're going to head to the... I'll, I'll survive. We're going to head to the uh, newer building that Google has, including with the giant Google G. Uh, is this considered a sculpture? We'll call it a sculpture uh, that a lot of people also take pictures with and is featured in. A lot of news articles about Google. But anyway, here's the newer building that Google has designed specifically. Uh, and they actually have a few little fun facts along the way about the building itself. So we'll take a look at those. We're getting closer and closer now to, to that G, which looks small here, but you'll see how huge it actually is. 
All right, head up towards the path here. Walking along. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Okay, here's a fact. Uh, here be dragon scales. 50,000 individual solar panels create Bayview's distinctive silver dragon sail scale solar skin, the first of their kind. Okay, there's more, but that's the gist of it, and there they are. So those are solar panels uh, as part of the roof. And now we'll head our way towards that G sculpture. Oh, G. G whiz. And there's one more fun fact. Using the Earth as a battery beneath your feet, 2,244 geothermal piles use the Earth to heat and cool the campus. All right, well, there's more there, but again, that's, that's the gist of it. Very windy. <laughs> All right, and here is that giant Google G with an Android inside. We'll see what it says in a second. All right, let's go ahead and take a closer look here. Is this a fun fact? Not a, sh not a shuttle landing zone. Please do not climb on the structure. Okay. And that's why they have those sharp things added to it. Uh, I guess a lot of people were climbing it. All right, well, that is the tour of Google's main campus. Hopefully you found this video interesting. Hopefully you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos, more out and abouts, visiting places, visiting theme parks, visiting stores, podcast style videos with friends. And please also subscribe to my comedy channel that I do with my cousin. Link is below. But anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video again, found what you were searching for. Get it? Just thought of that. And see you next time. Bye-bye. There's another Google sign just, just there. All right. Bye-bye.